What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay and I'm back again with another Black Label Elite exclusive. Now check this out. I am really excited about this. Um, what we are doing today, right? We're actually going to install the CMC trigger, the two-stage drop-in trigger uh, into my AR pistol. So uh, let me give you a little bit of background on what actually happened. Um, so a couple, a couple, maybe like a week Maybe like a week and a half ago or something like that, I was at the range with my AR pistol, um, and it started giving me a problem. So I'm pulling the trigger. Go ahead and do that safety check really quick. All right. Now, um, so <laughs> I'm 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 pulling the trigger right, and um, and this is just you know the mil spec, just the mil spec trigger, the one that actually came with this. Uh, Arrow Precision uh, Lower that I purchased. The and the model number for this AR pistol lower is um, the X15. So this is the X15 um, AR Arrow Precision Lower, and this is also the 7.5 inch uh, Arrow Precision Upper. And I've talked about this gun before, so I actually have a video. Uh, I actually have a video of this particular um, AR pistol that um, that's already up but uh, today the big thing that we're doing with it like I said we are dropping in the CMC two stage flat face trigger alright so I wanted to do this because <laughs> I keep hearing people talk about you know hey how easy is it to, to do it I actually went to the gun range um, that I go to uh, they had this trigger, but I did, of course, a lot of online research before I even, you know, went and started thinking about CMC. So, um, from everything I saw, it's a really great trigger. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and take out this one. So, let me go ahead and break this down. Now, for for this particular AR pistol, so I have the Dead Foot Arms uh, folder here, which allows you to shoot, fire the firearm um, while it's actually in this position right so at while it's folded I can actually fire the firearm um, let me go ahead and break this down so there are multiple pieces uh, there are multiple pieces uh, here right and these are all of the the dead foot arm pieces that uh, attach to or they work with their bolt carrier group system, I should say. So let me go ahead and pull, start pulling this apart. And I'll pull out this last pin here. All right. All right, so now I have this totally separate. I won't actually pull out the entire bolt carrier group because it's not needed for what we're doing, right? So let me go ahead and get this piece out of the way. Set that right there. Now, um, now what do we have? So I have the mil spec trigger and I think the only thing I'm going to need is um, this Stanley. This is actually a 1 16th punch, a Stanley punch and I, you know, this should be all I need um, to actually get this trigger out of here. So uh, let's get right to it. So this trigger of course is held in by two pins. Uh, if this was a fully automatic <laughs> AR-15 pistol, which it's not, of course, uh, there would be three pins because of the seconds here. but. Uh, since this is a semi-auto, like I'm sure most of you guys have, um, then we'll just have two pins, all right? So, let me go ahead, and that pin came all the way out pretty easily. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to have to press this thing just a little bit to get that to wiggle on out. There we go. All right, so I have... Pieces of the mil spec trigger coming out. All right. So let's see here. And this shit coming out pretty easy as well. There we go. All right. So here's the actual trigger um, that I was definitely having some issues with. And, the, and the, one of the big things that it was actually doing when I was at the range firing, so it would fire, uh, the bolt would go all the way, um, you know, back into position to fire, back in the battery, and um, the trigger would not reset. 
the trigger just would not reset, right? So um, until I actually uh, manually uh, pull the bolt back just a little bit, let it go, and that would allow the trigger to reset. And I was thinking initially that it was the bolt carrier group. Uh, did some investigating, wasn't the bolt carrier group. But here we go, back to the trigger. All right, so, uh, and, and pretty cool thing, you know, um, CMC actually has the, um, um, the, the pins. So for the pins, they have uh, these little pins that actually have screw, um, that you can actually put screws in at the end. And of course, they give you all the hardware and uh, you know the allens to tighten this up so we're gonna go ahead and dump that out right here so you have two pins four screws two allens uh, two allen tools and um, of course the trigger so the trigger already comes with a little bit of the uh, grease needed um, for it so what I'm actually gonna do I actually um, put that into position, right? So it's, it's in a more compact um, situation. So let, let me see something. Let me see one thing here. There we go, yeah. Just want to make sure before I put that in there. All right, so I think this is gonna be a pretty snug fit. Let's see. Let's see how snug it is, actually. End up having to. Uh, well, let's see if I'll have to take this out. May have to take this out. Looks that way. Now this will actually push out. You have to give it a little, little bit of pressure, and that pulls right out. All right. So now I can go ahead and set this trigger in place. There we go. And wow, that is. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty ridiculously quick. All right, so let me get this back in here. Push this uh, pin down so I can get the get the back through here. There we go. That's working as expected. So we have the trigger in here now. Let's go ahead and drop these uh, drop these pins in place so we can lock this uh, in where it's supposed to be. There we go, that's pin one. And and all these pins and uh, screws and everything came uh, kind of oiled up, you know what I mean? Make it, make it definitely uh, easier for you to put it in. So now let's, uh, now let's get these screws, go ahead and drop these in here. And uh, see where we are. So one thing I did like and the reason that I actually got the, the two stage uh, drop in trigger uh, from CMC as opposed to the single stage uh, trigger that was uh, that they also had that was available um, and was was just a feel so this is a two pound uh, two pound set and two pound release trigger um, you know a lot of people uh, have you know three and a half four pound triggers um, but you know if you you know if you do what you're supposed to do which is you know, keep your finger off the trigger until you've acquired and made the decision to shoot, acquired your target and made the decision to shoot, um, you know, lighter trigger won't, you know, won't, won't cause you any issues, right? Um, you know, just adhering to those basic principles, right? So, now, 
this is why they actually give you two of these so you can uh, get this a little bit tighter now you don't have to go all he-man on uh, <laughs> on these screws you just want to you know definitely definitely have them um, you know definitely have them snug and a little bit past snug I'd probably say but uh, there we go it's now locked in so now I have the trigger in um, and we can go ahead and put the AR pistol back together go ahead and reconnect the, the upper and the lower here we go and now let's go ahead and put back uh, put the dead foot arms um, components back in place and I've been really really impressed with this dead foot arm system <laughs> like I've had it I've had it for quite a while at this point you guys can go back and look at that uh, look at the other video that I have on it uh, when I initially set it up or installed it um, but yeah I have not been I have not been um, disappointed at all with that system. And wow, that is, <laughs> it is crazy. I think I have a napkin over here. Here we go. Yeah, let me get some of this uh, grease off my fingers and off of uh, the lower. And if I've gotten any on the upper as well, let's wipe some of that off. Yeah, definitely. Definitely kind of greasy a little bit here. Yeah, but I won't bore you guys with me wiping down my entire AR pistol. But, um, man, this trigger, let's test it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get on this side of it so you guys can actually see. That is the... <laughs> Wait. No, this is the funny thing. I went all the way past the take up, right? So let, let's try this again. Let's try it again. All right. So, what is the best way for me to show you guys this? Um, let's see. That is the take up. That is it firing. Go ahead and hold it. That's the audible reset. That is it firing again. Man, this thing feels so much better. Now, the cool thing about it was, is when you pull all the way through, right? So I said that it's a, a two pound set and a two pound release. But if you pull completely through, you don't even feel it. You know, you don't feel like, you don't feel like you're at two different stages, right? It, it seems, it just really seems like a single stage trigger at that particular point. So if you did want to go ahead and pull all the way through, it just really seems like a one stage. Um, but if you do want that, you know, that ability to, to pull back and actually set, um, it definitely gives you that and it feels, it really, really feels amazing. Um, so, thank you guys for watching that. And, uh, you know, once again, that was the, the CMC, uh, the CMC two-stage drop-in trigger and it is just what they said um, really really easy to just go ahead and drop that right in uh, to the firearm and um, hey thank you guys for joining and this trigger uh, this trigger let's talk about the price for just a sec this trigger was actually about 219 plus tax and I think I got some a small small discount or something like that but it ended up being around uh, 220 something so um, really affordable for what you get um, I will, of course, do a video at the range showing you guys, you know, kind of how this works, um, and how good it shoots. So, I'm about to go in. I just changed, um, the springs on my AR pistol. I've been having issues with it not going in a battery. Let's see if it, uh, if it was... So like I said, I just changed the springs, the buffer spring, and um, let's see how it goes.
the location of my uh, of my mm -hmm. lights were. It actually used to be on this side so I could uh, easily press it with my thumb. So the strobe and then the, the constant on. Oh man, yeah. Hey, as always, be easy and be safe.